KwaZulu-Natal schools are emerging as the biggest contributor to the rapid increase of new COVID-19 infections in the province. Last week, KZN Premier Sitle Zigalala revealed that the province experienced 120 reported cluster outbreaks in school settings. 800 pupils and a teacher tested positive for COVID-19. The Provincial Education Department also confirmed the increase in cases in schools and attributed this to possible non-compliance with COVID-19 protocols at schools and at home. But experts believe that despite the isolated deaths and increase in positive cases among young children, the Delta variant is not targeting the young, but that children are more susceptible to contracting the Delta strain. The virus is is finding its way to the to the susceptible groups in the in the population, and and actually the they we know that children are still susceptible to infection. The 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 good thing in general is that it's extremely uncommon for for young children to become severely unwell to need to be hospitalized and and it's extremely rare that you see these deaths and and that's why we we recognize them and 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 we they're kind of notable because they are so unusual some parents are calling for the rotational timetabling to resume at schools for various grades this to reduce the spread of covid-19 You know, there is um, a system that I think for me personally, it was working and better when they were taking their school, their kids uh, gradually to school, not all of them at the same time. The system whereby they will say the grade fours and grade five are attending on Wednesday and Thursday. And when they come out of school, they had also adjusted the times that the grade fours are coming out at one. The grade fives are coming out at half past one or quarter to two. Under South Africa's current lockdown rules, it is a criminal offence not to wear a mask in a public space, except for children under the age of six. Siswane's son, Kumile, has become an advocate for COVID-19 protocols. You mustn't try and think about the mask on your face too much. And, and, and the social distancing, you must just make sure that you do keep a distance. Yes, not only to protect yourself, but to protect the people around you. So the mask thing, you mustn't worry about that. You must act like the mask isn't there. And also... A reminder to all scholars before leaving the house. Remember, when you're always leaving for school, always carry your hand sanitizer and your mask. Your mask should be at your face at all times. Jade Paulser, SABC News, Durban. Bye.